Well, what's up, guys? It's D, the Grim Gamer. Welcome back for another stream. And uh, I got something completely different uh, tonight compared to what I have been doing. And uh, typically, I don't, I don't do things like this usually. And that's doing a completely different one-off stream right smack in the middle of something else that I'm in the middle of doing, which I'm currently in the middle of a full-length playthrough of a completely different game. Um, but I'm throwing this one off stream in there uh, for a specific reason, and I'm about to get into why that is, and then uh, we'll get into this game. So, uh, sometime back, um, I did a one off stream on a different racing game, and at that time, that game was Andretti Racing. And I talked at that time about really wanting to get into some kind of racing, and uh, I go through this phase. Uh, every couple years where I just, I, I want to get into some racing. And I'm not talking about it. I just want to, you know, throw in a racing game and, and do a couple races. No, I full-fledged career mode. Get into all the ins and outs of the car um, setups and the, you know, the whole nine yards. And uh, at that time, when I did that stream of Andretti Racing, I just really, really wanted to do some racing. But the timing at that time wasn't right. Uh, I don't, I don't want to do... Uh, like streams uh, of like a full fledged career mode or something like that. Cause that can go literally as long as I see fit. Um, but I, I would like to do like a YouTube series or something, right? Something that I can chop the videos down, make them smaller and, you know, easier to watch. And so um, that's something that I wanted to do, but the timing for that just wasn't right. Uh, Suave Beardson dropping down in the chat. What's up? See, I'm trying to what disaster i got the penalty my life is running fast. i i am gonna have something for you here in just a minute speaking of that right there but swab beardson in the chat um if you're not watching swab beardson then please do yourself uh, and him a favor and go over and check out his stuff on twitch and on youtube uh does a lot of really cool stuff he's doing red dead wednesdays right now some uh, red dead redemption 2 uh, every Wednesday night over on Twitch, and he does uh, a lot of speed running with uh, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, and he's got several other games that he speed run uh, over on his YouTube, along with full-length playthroughs of some other games. So check out Suave Beardson. Uh, I would appreciate it, so would he, and you won't be disappointed. But, uh, you know, again, I wanted to get into some kind of racing at that point when I was doing Andretti Racing, and the timing just wasn't right. Well, at that time, also, I was doing a weekly series uh, on the YouTube channel, uh, and it was a ra uh, uh, it was a wrestling series, and uh, that series, as of a week ago, just finished. Uh, the last episode came out, and that series is done. It is no more, and so the timing has worked itself out to where I can, uh, you know, get into some racing now, and. Um, there's going to be a brand new series coming out specifically on YouTube once a week uh, on an old PlayStation 2 racing game, full-fledged career mode. Um, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. I've had fun so far recording the episodes for it. As it sits, as I do this right now, there's already like 25 episodes or something like that that I've already recorded, edited, uploaded, and it's just waiting for the specific days to drop. So, um, I'm very excited about that and I'm going to leave that at that, you know, um, because a again, as I record this tomorrow night at 8 PM over on the YouTube channel, I have a full fledged announcement video that will be coming out explaining what this game is, the dates, the times, the, you know, and the finer details about this new series that's going to be coming out. So stay tuned over on the YouTube channel for that. But why all of that is relevant is that because there's a brand new uh, weekly series that's going to be coming to the YouTube channel, and it's racing, I wanted to do uh, a stream on some racing uh, to kind of coincide with the, you know, the new series. And the game that I chose is uh, one from my childhood, and it's obviously, you see it on the screen, it's NASCAR 98, and this is the original PS1 version. Uh, they released this game also on the Sega Dreamcast, and I don't know if they released anything else 
other than those two things. But this is the PS1 version, and I am running this on original OG hardware, so that's exciting. Uh, I switched out my controller, and uh, I actually have the joysticks with this one. Last couple PS1 games, I've played with the original uh, controller with uh, no joysticks, but no, this is NASCAR. I need my joysticks. So um, this particular NASCAR uh, game lives rent-free in my mind, and also for Suave Beardson also. And it's not because of the gameplay, it's not because of the graphics, it's not because of, you know, any specific features, it's because of one song. One particular track is uh, why <laughs> this particular NASCAR stands out uh, in our minds so well, and I'll touch base on that one in a second. But um, growing up, you know, uh, we, we got to play quite a few NASCAR games. This was just one of the many. Uh, back then, our dad was a big fan of NASCAR, uh, and he would watch he would watch the races. Uh, even if it wasn't every week, it was pretty damn close. Uh, and of course, he had his favorite, which was uh, the Man in Black, the Intimidator, Dale Earnhardt. Uh, we had a couple of our own favorites, not because we understood who they were or exactly what was going on, uh, but their cars had cool paint schemes. So, <laughs> uh, like one of my favorites I remember at the time was the, the 44 Hot Wheels car of Kyle Petty, just because his car looked like a pretty sweet machine. And then, um, you know, I also liked, um, uh, I liked Mark Martin back in the day, and, um, I feel like there's, uh, one that I'm forgetting, uh, right off the top of my head. These games are better when you're five. Exactly, yes, yeah, the car looked cool, you know, um, but yeah, right off the top of my head, I feel like there's at least one more that I'm forgetting, uh, specifically for like the paint schemes and all that. But uh, Mark Martin, I liked Kyle Petty, I liked. Oh, and Bill Elliott, I liked Bill Elliott too because you know he drove the McDonald's car. I mean, what was not to like about that? So, uh, so all that was a thing. But Dad would pick up the newest NASCAR every time, just kind of like the you know the Madden football games. Every year he would pick up each. Every single one, you know, just like clockwork. And so we got to play a bunch of the NASCAR games back in the day. And, uh, but this one stands out for that one particular song. And, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, uh, everybody a little clip of that. I'm, I'm worried about copyright strikes and things, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. And we're just gonna have that little clip. I do need to reset my console though. And the reason I'm gonna do that is, uh, because, um, it must have just been a thing uh, back during the PlayStation 1 days where there would be a video that plays before you get to the main screen. This game has a really cool video uh, at the beginning before you get to the main screen. And then on that main screen, it's got that song uh, that I was just mentioning. So uh, I think I got everything out of the way that I wanted to talk about. So I'm going to reset the console, let this stuff play out, and then uh, we'll actually get into the game. So... Exactly. Yeah, there's that too, for sure. Okay. And I also need to turn up. Yep, sorry, I had the audio muted there. I mean, that's classic, right? <laughs> Absolutely classic. But here's here's the video. I didn't realize this video was on here, but this video was really cool. I like this quite a bit. I think I think everybody else, you know, old school fans would like this too. 50 years ago, Bill France said, I'm faster than you and I can prove it. NASCAR is born. They race on sand, dirt, asphalt, anywhere they can draw a finish line. 100 miles turns into 200, 200 into 500. Yeah. Cars get more powerful, more aerodynamic, and faster, frighteningly faster. The competition is close, sometimes too close. <laughs> trading position means trading paint. Turns become steeper, top speeds higher, knuckles wider. Drivers find new ways to win. Check that. Oh, sir. Drafting becomes essential. The slingshot, an art form. It's brother versus brother, Chevy versus Ford, the king versus history, everyone versus the law of physics. <laughs> and with each passing season, the fans grow hungrier. Their support verging on worship. 
Russia. A new generation of heroes emerges. You see their faces on TV, t-shirts, trading cards, video games. Some are deified, others vilified. Everyone gets in on the action. Corporations, movie stars, Molly Hatchet. Molly the Hatchet. Loser cups, champagne, cereal sponsors. The losers get towed. But when you get right down to it, none of this really matters. Because I'm faster than you, and I can prove it. Just give me a car and a shot at the checkered flag, and I can prove it. NASCAR 98, 50 years in the making. If it's in the game, EA Sports, it's in the game. I tell you what, after that video, give me a car. I'm ready to go racing right this second. I don't know, if there's something something about that, that video uh, gets me pumped up. <laughs> All right, so it's playing right now, but there was a just a section I'm going to play. I'm going to try to minimize my chance of getting a strike for this. Uh, right about in here. <laughs> and luckily, it actually cuts it off right there for me. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> just thank you so much for this. You're welcome. Uh, but luckily, it cuts it off right there for me because uh, I don't know if I'm necessarily flirting with disaster, but I know that I'm going to be flirting with copyright strikes. So there is that. <laughs> um, but here we go. Yeah, we're going to jump into this. And um, I forgot to mention that uh, I wanted to give a quick shout out uh, to my dad, because uh, he's the one that has loaned me this copy of the game to play, because again, he kind of collected all these games back in the day. This is one of the original copies that he still had to this day, and actually, this is the collector's edition of the game too, which, coincidentally enough, he's also got the original uh, copy of NASCAR 98 too, but he's let me borrow the collector's edition, and uh, a couple of differences between the collector's edition and the original. This particular version uh, has Richard Petty that you can race as and race against and it also has uh, the Darlington Raceway which was not included in the original game so there's that and this one is still in pretty pristine condition still has the uh, 50th anniversary pendant on the front so very very cool so again shout out to dad thanks for letting me borrow that it's uh, uh really cool to be able to go back in and, and play this game yeah dlc before dlc exactly you know you just had to buy the game again and get the extra cool stuff so um and one other thing um this you know is nascar 98 originally came out in 97 but that's what they do with you know those year releases um but you gotta think that they were celebrating their 50th anniversary back then. And just to give you a quick little thing about how much time has passed, last year they just celebrated their 75th anniversary. So let that sink in for a second. So um, I do have to do one thing here because, yeah, this is set at 7. I'm not actually going to bump this back down to about that. Uh, damage, yellow flags, breakdowns, blah, blah, blah. you have to leave all that as is. And I got to do this because I got to have the analog on. And then this. And then I actually have to calibrate the joysticks or else I will just flat it up in the wall. So <laughs> that's a thing too. Um, I don't know how cheap this color edition still is on eBay. Yeah, I know it. Um, some of them, you know, are missing the pendant, though. So you want that collector's edition, you got to have the pendant with it, right? You know, that's that, to me, was one of the cool things about this version, was having that pendant. So I'm not going to just jump into single race. I'm going to jump into the championship season. Being a one-off, I don't expect to get, like, you know, very far into this. I mean, we've got a couple hours. Um, and I do have the race length set pretty low. You can do 100% length, and that... That would be a thing, you know. Um, yeah, and that's not bad. Um, you know, again, having this copy here, got to borrow it from Dad, uh, is cool. But I might, I really think about maybe uh, picking up a copy of it for my just my own personal collection. Um, just into collecting games these days, and so it's just kind of one that I'd like to be able to just pop in whenever I want, you know. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to do this championship season and just see how far we can get. Um, I see Atlanta here is the old school Atlanta. That's the um, old configuration. It's not a uh, trioval, you know, D-shaped Atlanta like we're familiar with. That's the uh, 
more um, Homestead Miami, you know, version of Atlanta. And uh, there's actually, I'm going to exit this real quick. Let's go to this driver info. So right off the top, we got Dale Earnhardt. Again, that was dad's favorite. Just uh, going to go through this real quick, you know, and just show you some of the other drivers that are included. I think the case says uh, that there are uh, 24 official drivers and uh, cars in this game. There's 12 official tracks along with five fantasy tracks. So you got Bill Elliott. Of course, you got Jeff Gordon. You got David Green driving the 96 Caterpillar. I don't remember that. Not I don't remember that at all. Ernie Irvin in the 28 Haviland car. Remember that? Je uh, Dale Jarrett in the 88. Bobby Labonte in the classic 18 Interstate Batteries. I mean, yeah, I remember that so vividly. Uh, Terry Labonte, of course, in the five Kellogg's. Sterling Marlin in the four. And a classic Mark Martin with the, that classic Valvoline paint scheme. Uh, Jeremy Mayfield in the 37 Kmart car. Don't remember that at all either. Ted Musgrave. We got uh, There's Kyle Petty in that 44 Hot Wheels car. It was one of my favorite cars back in the day. I remember actually building a model of Kyle Petty's hauler with Dad back in the day. You know, we both had the Kyle Petty hauler. Dad had the Dale Earnhardt hauler. And, of course, this version has, you know, the classic 43 Richard Petty car in it. Um... Mike Skinner in the 31 lows. Hut Strickland. Uh, that seems somewhat familiar. Kenny Wallace in the 81 square D car. Rusty Wallace in the 2. That's that's also interesting to me. You go back to some of these old racing games, right? And they, they couldn't have like some of their sponsors on the car. Obviously, Rusty Wallace was... Uh, um, Beer, one of the beers. Um, damn, Miller, I think Miller Light, I think was on Rusty's car. In this game, he's got Penske, which is who he drove for at the time. In other games, he would just have his name, like his car was sponsored by him. It would be the Rusty Wallace number two, you know. Uh, and then we would have other ones like Sterling Marlin would just have Sterling Marlin on the side of the car instead of Coors beer. Uh, Dale Jr. would be the number eight Dale Jr. car, you know, things like that. Michael Waltrip was driving for the Wood Brothers at this time with the uh, 21 Sidco car. John Andretti in the RCA 98 car. Johnny Benson. Jeff Burton in the 99 Eggside Batteries car. That is classic. I remember that vividly. Uh, Ward Burton in the 22 NBNA car. Don't remember that one so much. I do remember him in the 22 Caterpillar. You got Ricky Craven, and then we're back to Dale. So um, that's who we're looking at as far as our drivers go. So we're going to start a new season, and um, I think it's only fitting, you know, since uh, Dad let me borrow this version of the game in order to do this uh, for Dad, and we're also going to do it for Dale. You know, this was NASCAR 98, the year that Dale Earnhardt won the Daytona 500. Uh, his only win of that season, actually. So we're going to go with number three. We're going to go with the Intimidator. So, um, interestingly enough, we're, it looks like we're starting in Atlanta, which I don't really understand that. But, um, yeah, I think 13 laps is doable. I think default is set at nine laps, but we'll bump it up to 13. I think that's that'll suffice. So, we're going to get into it and see what we can do. Oh, Hello, Bob, Bob Jenkins. Jenkins. For EA Sports, coming to you from Hampton, Georgia, home of the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Looking at the track layout, the 24-degree bank turns make this a very fast track for its distance. The drivers will no doubt be looking for passing opportunities on the long and ever-inviting back straightaway. That's interesting. I didn't realize that uh, they had Bob Jenkins do uh, some videos for this game. Um, and what else is cool and what's interesting is when I did Andretti Racing, that was also done by EA Sports, if I remember correctly. And they also had Bob Jenkins do some uh, videos for that game as well. So, uh, interesting little... Interesting little thing. Let's look at this car setup, shall we? Look, you got a couple different sliders. That is your <laughs> that is your big time customization at the time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna reduce the wedge right off the bat. Um, 
Tires, I don't think we're gonna mess with. Auto transmission, we're gonna keep with miles per hour, for sure. Uh, we're gonna leave the rest of it. We wanna be able to get around the turns, dude. The <laughs> immersion at its finest. Oh, okay, let me, let me give you this right here. Right on the back of the case. In-depth car setups. Yo, okay. Keep telling yourself that, guys. Four sliders. That's what you give me. <laughs> Mind you, uh, that's, you know, back back then. So I guess you got to give them some credit, right? We're going to do a, just a couple practice laps. And, uh, you know, because I'll only do this once or so just to see if uh, the wedge is where I want it so we can get around the track. Uh, and then we'll qualify and get into the race. So... Um, real quick, game options, controller. Okay, that's still set up the way I want it to. Yep, there's that. Okay, good there. Okay. All right, let's do it. So, yeah, so that is the version of Atlanta we get in this game, which is interesting because if this was based on the 97 season, I'd have to see when they... I'd have to look up to see when they reconfigured Atlanta. But I thought that they reconfigured Atlanta before that. I'm almost certain that they did, but maybe they didn't. That's uh that's an interesting little bit of information. Oh, hit start. There we go. Yeah, here we go. Uh, change to this view right here. And uh, I hope you don't mind that sound of the car, because that's what you're gonna get this whole time. <laughs> Ooh, oh no, back it down. Wait a second. Ooh, that wanted to go straight to the wall. Uh, do I have a rear view mirror? I do, but then it gets rid of my... Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, it gets rid of my, uh, mini-map. Oh no. Oh, you still don't want to turn. We might have to give you a little... We might have to back the wedge out just a little bit more. All right, maybe one more lap here, and then we'll go fix that. Uh, back it down. Whoa, back it down. Yeah, we need to... Yeah, we got to do something with that. Oh, uh, yeah. Here, how about that draw distance? <laughs> Can't even see the other end of the track. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, though. It's not like it's uh, skipping frames or anything like that. It's just the draw distance is trash, but, you know... Whoa, we backed it down a little too far. It hit the brakes and it wanted to just, it just broke away from me. He <laughs> piled the car up there a little bit. Seven, the standard, T97, to standardize the track with Speedway. Ovals, the entire track was almost completely rebuilt. The front stretch and badges were swapped. I did know that when they reconfigured it. It was changed from oval to a quad oval. It's got high on it yeah that's it up and down it yeah it does so okay so they must have um they must have designed this game around like the 96 season or something then released it in 97 and basically like right when the game was coming out then they must have you know changed it and so that that's interesting all right yeah no we need to yeah no uh back that way out way out um, go with that. We'll do one more little practice session. We'll see what we're looking like. That that could be too. That could be. That's interesting. Like I've seen videos, you know, from like the '92 uh, Atlanta race, which uh, was um, the last race of the season in '92, because that's that's a pretty iconic race. A lot happened in Atlanta uh, in that race, uh, but it was this version of the track at that time. Yeah, we're getting around here a little better. Whoa. Oh, touch the brake and it wants to go sideways. So, okay, we're just going to have to simply let off the gas and just kind of let it coast around, I think. It feels like the car is so slow. Ooh, right up against the wall. 
187. Back it down. Just kind of feather it maybe through here. Okay. Now I think we're getting the hang of it. Okay, I've seen some of the... the um, oh, see, so I'm trying to read and try to do this at the same time. Okay. Yes, I gotta, I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. All right, so even with that crap lap right there, we got 36.6 is what we're looking at time-wise. I think I can qualify with that. See what, see what I'm looking like. I know one of my favorite races still to this day to go back and watch is um, the Atlanta race. Uh, from 2000 with the photo finish between Earnhardt and Bobby Labonte. It's still an awesome race. Then the following year after Dale's death to watch that same race and Harvick beats out uh, Jeff Gordon in photo finish exactly the same way as the year prior. That you can't you can't write stuff like that. You know and you don't get moments in in NASCAR like that anymore either. You know. All right, so this is what we're looking like qualifying-wise. Um, looks like a 35 for for Jeff is uh, what we're having to strive for. So, mm, we'll see. We'll see what we got. There's only 24 cars in the field. Like, so that's one thing in this game that it's missing. You don't get the full 43-car field. But, you know... It's probably impressive at that time that they got even 24 on a track at the same time. So there is that, you know. Oh, yeah, we got to really back it down here. Let's see what kind of lap we can uh, we can get for ourselves. Back it down, get around the corner here. Oh, that corner felt okay. We do have to back it off a little bit. We're going to go straight up into the wall. And we're looking at a... Ooh, it was a 36-something. We got to be right there towards the front. Top three, maybe? Oh, top two. We're running on the front row. So we do have to contend with Jeff. That's a thing. But that's not a bad qualifying effort. <clears throat> okay. Um... I guess I don't really need to make too many adjustments here. The cars, you know, one more little Scotia wedge. I might regret that later. But here we go. Front row with Jeff Gordon in my first race in NASCAR 98. And who the hell knows how long? I don't even know. Um, maybe? That would be some interesting information to find out. All right, I'm going to stop reading the chat here for a moment, see what we can do in this race. Oh, maybe. Oh, it looks the like we... flag is out. It looks like we actually do single file uh, starts and not side by side. So that's interesting. Oh, we're oh we got that draft right there with Jeff. A oh, car is leading the pack. Look at that clean pass. Are you kidding me? That was pretty. That was nice. Oh, went in a little hot. Went in a little hot. Ooh, that was close. Cutting it a little too close. Bag it down near a skosh. Oh, Jeff is right there on my heels, too. Oh, trading paint. Forgot he does, he is able to get the draft off me, though. I got nobody in front of me to draft off of, so there is that. Oh, yep, couldn't turn. Couldn't turn. All right, we're going to get passed by Jeff and Terry. All right, get that draft. Come on, turn. 
turn, damn you. <laughs> oh, look at that draft. Sniff that draft and then we can really get going. I see that's going to be a thing right there. We're going to have to give and take a little bit. Uh, you know, as the leader and... Uh... Oh, somebody's roasting. Oh, look like Dale Jarrett. Already in the pitch, blowing engine. Bag it down a little bit going into the corner there. Oh, it does not want to turn off the corner at all. And here comes Jeff again. I drove off the corner pretty decent there. See if we can break the draft, maybe? Still got to get back up here to get get a decent entrance into the corner, though. Oh, yep, yeah, not good. Not good. Uh, if it saved my settings uh, earlier, I uh, I did mess with like some of the you know actual game settings, and uh, instead of turning it, there was like a couple different um, settings that you can use, either like arcade settings or simulation, and I have it set on simulation, and it's got like just you know it's supposed to make it uh, more immersive and more realistic compared to arcade supposedly. Uh, so I don't know exactly, you know, how that affects the AI necessarily, but, um, you know, so far, you know, the, uh, you know, I don't know if you could actually turn the difficulty up on, uh, on the AI or what, or maybe I'm actually just doing halfway decent. <laughs> trying to go on the outside. Man, Jeff, get out of here with that nonsense. Passing me on the outside. Who do you think you are, man? Ooh, screeching the tires there a little bit. I probably could have... Probably could have did the race length just a little bit less. Um, instead of doing the 13 laps, but... Ooh, yes, oh... Oh, we're burning the we're burning the tires right off this car. I wish I could have my mini map uh, and the rear view mirror, but it doesn't give you that option. I guess uh, at this point, the uh, rear view mirror is more important. Come on, come on, come on, come on, turn! <laughs> turn, damn you! Oh. Jeff's really making me work for it, man. Woo! tap the brake. Barely tap the brake. You actually really apply the brakes and uh, I'll be in uh, in the infield parking next to the concession stand. You know, for a game that came out in 97, um, I gotta say, I mean, it's taking a, a second to get used to. And obviously, you know, it doesn't look all that impressive these days by today's standards. But it doesn't feel terrible to play. Um, when I played Andretti Racing, um, it the stuff didn't really handle all that good. But to be fair, Andretti Racing uh, is more of um, like an indie car game and not a stock car game. So there is that. I mean, they had stock cars in it. but And then they had the, the one... You know, the one oval track was like the Thunderdome or something like that. I feel like the developers were like, you know, we have stock cars in this game. We need to throw them a bone, you know. And it was just kind of, 
you know, thrown in. But this, you know, NASCAR is more of what, you know, grew up with and watched and everything else. And and so, you know, actually getting into it, the game doesn't feel terrible to play. Uh, Jeff, we're going to have words, man. I'm going to see you at the hauler here after this race is over. You need to back the hell off it. <laughs> He's got his teammate, Terry Labonte, right there with him. Been there the whole time. No, back off. Would love to win my first race in NASCAR 98 and forever. Oh, Terry's not going to wait. Terry's... Oh, come on, Terry. Look at this three wide. One more lap to go. Oh, sending it in and hot. Uh, lap traffic, lap traffic. Come on, Ward, Ward, come on, give me some space, Ward. Oh yeah, use him as a pick. Oh, there he goes. Oh, they just ate it. Oh, that's all I needed. That's all I needed to see. Oh, they biffed it. That's a check flag. Yes. Yes! Woohoo! Look at that! That's what I'm talking about. And they still end up finishing two and three, even after flooding the cars up. <laughs> oh, man. Woo! Dale Jarrett and Hutch Strickland were out. We actually lapped Michael Waltrip, Ward Burton, and Jeremy Mayfield. Oh, man. Oh, let's see here. What, what we got in the chat? Uh, just well, tap, tap, tap. Where were you? Yeah, d rattle his cage. All right. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that uh, oh, man. I, I, I. All right. Already leading the championship standings. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> well, old school NASCAR point system. Where is that these days? Give me that. Um, I think I got gypped on a couple points, though. I do feel like I should have like at least another five bonus points for leading the most laps. Because that was a thing. All right. Oh, and we do have to do Darlington. That sucks. <laughs> um, and uh, I, I know this version. This version, you know, included the Darlington racetrack. The original version of the game didn't. I was kind of hoping they didn't include it in the championship mode, though. I'm not a fan of Darlington. I don't like Darlington. I never have. Um, uh, one start, one finish, one win. Qualified second. I mean, can't get much better than that. All right, Atlanta. Oh, this is going to tell me my tracks. Okay, so we got Atlanta, Darlington, Texas, Bristol, Salt Basin the hell is that uh, Sears Point okay Charlotte Pine Ridge do they have the fantasy tracks in here too Michigan California Willow Lane they have to some of them I am not familiar with at all oh freaking Pocono fantastic Watkins Glen Cedar Woods Talladega there's Talladega Ranch Tower Suzuka Daytona's not even included Daytona's not in here. Well, that's interesting. I wonder why that is. Suzuka's an interesting, uh, an interesting inclusion in this game, though. Suzuka is a real track. That's over in Japan. So the fact they have this in this game is interesting, and they put, hmm, that that kind of blows me away. Why Daytona isn't in here? Well, either way, um, we're going to go to the next race, which is Darlington. Oh, Bob Jenkins coming back again? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, coming to you from the granddaddy of super speedways, Darlington Raceway. Excuse me, Thousands what? Thousands of South Carolina race fans Talladega. are on hand to watch this round of the NASCAR Championship Racing Challenge. Turns one and two are tight, but turn four is what makes this track considered too tough to tame. We'll look for many drivers to earn their Darlington stripe today. 
Yeah, I'm I'm already see this stupid egg shaped track. I hate this track. I hate it so much. This track is iconic in the history of NASCAR. It was the very first super speedway. Um, they also call this um, was it the um, the uh, the the lady in black or uh, something like that. Um, there's a nickname for it. Um, this was, I think, like the first paved track that NASCAR ever raced at. So it's iconic, you know, in the history of NASCAR. But I hate this track. In every game I ever, ever play, I hate this track. I hate it so much. If you can get your car to cooperate in one side of the track or the other, uh, well, then your your setup is junk in the other half because the turns are completely different on the other side. I should have take I should have took wedge out right from the start and I didn't. All right, Darlington. See, and I think the other problem is, and I don't like getting close to the wall. I think the problem with this track too is that the highest or the the faster lanes are actually closer or closest to the wall. Which is dumb. Oh, let's see. About to pile it up right there. It's a 33. See, this corner I can kind of just let off the throttle and I'm good. So there's that. Nope. Maybe not. I had to give it a little break right there. Trying to stay to the white line, the white dotted lines, maybe, but I guess that works too. 33 1, what we're looking at. Um, maybe, uh, maybe I'll, uh, just bump the wedge down two skoshes, take the rear spoiler. Oh, that's for the downforce. So, I think if we go less, the car is a little harder to handle, but it's less drag, so it'll give us more top speed. So, we'll go with that. We'll just qualify, see what we get. What did I say? 30... Uh, I forgot what I said. What are we looking at? A 32-4 for Dale Jarrett on the pole. Richard Petty right up there towards the front also. If I had a 31, I think that's pole. I think. A top speed of 189. Push to the wall. Oh, whoa, whoa, back it down. Whoa, back it down. Oh, now that, now those corners suck. Yay. Hey. Oh, is that about a 34? Where's that put us? Oh, wow. Ooh, 11th. Oh, we got some work to do. Ooh, we got some work to do. Okay. So, really, I only had to pass Jeff in the first race. I did have to pass Jeff back and did have to deal with Terry and and Jeff throughout the entire race. But we're, we're going to have to pass several cars in this one. I th Again, I think I was it was like a 31 or something like that in practice. So I feel like I have the speed. I think. I think I do I I do like what the car felt like though. So I think we're going to leave that alone. 14 laps at this stupid track. <laughs> Damn it. 
Jeff's up there. Mark's up there. Bobby and Ernie. I like how it's supposed to be putting us in rows, but it's like single car starts. <laughs> Starting here by Ted Musgrave. All right. Here we go. And I the hate how... flag is out. I hate how I have to change my, uh, my camera every single time. That kind of bugs me. Negative review on Steam. <laughs> oh, I got way out of the gas, and uh, now, now, now we're falling behind. We gotta catch back up here. See if we can sniff the draft off of these guys. Oh, smoking. Oh, losing control. Damn. Yep. Um. Oh. Oh. Yo. What's up, man? Okay. You want to give me some space here? Is that uh, John? Is that John Andretti in that car? You can give me some space, man. Oh yeah, we're we're uh we're burning the tires off of this car. Every corner exit. Oh come on! Now I don't want to turn at all. What the hell happened? Try maybe it's just, I'm just trying to get into the corners a little hot, trying to make up some some time on these other guys, and it's just it's making it worse. Oh, nope, it wants to go around. Oh, I'm going to have to fight that the whole rest of the race. I uh, I should have left the downforce alone. I think that's my problem. I'm trying to catch these guys here, though. Oh, there's my Darlington Stripes right there. That's what they were talking about. Oh, can we get under Musgrave? Want to give up the spot, bud? Thank you. All right, now we can start sniffing the draft again, though. See if we can still make something happen out of this. Get by Kyle. Is this Jeff? Uh, Jeff Burton, that is. All right, starting to get the feel for it. Starting to get the feel for it. Back her down. This is the... Stupid corners. Oh, it shifted to third, though. Didn't want that. All right, so we're going to lose that spot. Back to Jeff. Oop, oop, sorry, bud. It's not where I was trying to go, actually. Dude, come on, man. You not see me on the outside of you? Did your spotter not say clear? Or did he tell you that you were clear? Because you clearly weren't. Okay. We got regroup. In 10th, though, top 10 wouldn't, wouldn't be terrible. Especially for a track I don't like. Uh, Jeff, I need you to... Oh, dude. Oh, got on the apron. Damn it. All right, well, there's Kyle. And there's... Oh, well, Musgrave just said, uh, see ya. Alright, gotta regroup again here now. Really gotta just feather that throttle, man. You try to hammer the throttle off the corner, yeah, you're gonna wind up in the infield. Oh, it's, that's right. Stupid corner. Stupid corner. Right, trying to catch back up to Jeff again. Uh, 
and try to make up some time here in one and two. One and two's not quite so bad. Three and four sucks. Send it down deep. Say, come on, give me some room there, Jeff. That's a nice clean pass, though. We got uh, Ernie Irvin is the next one. I'll get a run off the corner. Shift down to third. I didn't want it to do that. Rusty, give me some room, man. Woo! All right, what's this? Uh, the king himself, Richard, up next. All right. Oh, I didn't get I didn't get into the corner right there the way I wanted to. All right. Well, we're gonna have to make it up down here in three and four then. Oh, right on the yellow line. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a thing of beauty. Got a little time to make up here. We want to try to get a top 10 out of this nonsense, though. It's uh, Bobby Labani, I think. It's up here in front of us. Not enough pixels for me to really tell. <laughs> Need a few more pixels to tell what car that is. Oh, yeah, it's Bobby. All right, Bobby. Can't quite get the draft on him right there, though. I'm trying to get it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, and he's not going to give me this, the room. I had a run and had nowhere to take it. And now uh, we're going to come up on the white flag. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to get back to him now. One more lap to go. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Bob. Oh, I might have maybe one more shot at it. But if I try too hard in three and four, we could screw up this entire run. Back it down. Hammer. Come on, Bobby, give it up. Come on, Bobby, give it up. All right. Woo. Right at the end to salvage the top five on the last lap. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Actually made something happen there. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs> well, Jeff Gordon wins, so that doesn't help us for the point standings any. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So we uh, we lost it. We're tied with Terry Labonte 10 points back. Um, we're going to need Jeff uh, to eat shit. That's what we're going to need. Next up is Texas. Oh, boy. Good afternoon and welcome to Texas Motor Speedway. I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports coming to you from Fort Worth, Texas with round three of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. Let's take a look at this beautiful, all-new, state-of-the-art racetrack. The one and That's a right, half Texas mile was pretty new back then. straightaways and awesome bank turns of 8 to 24 degrees. No, wasn't a bad finish for, for that at all. To, to be able to make up those spots, get a top five out of that, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, and yeah, Texas was fairly new at this time. And uh, if I remember correctly, a little little bit of information I'm pretty sure Mark Martin won the very first race at Texas Motor Speedway if I'm not mistaken once again get rid of some of that wedge I think I think we did maybe two we're gonna just drop it one this tracks a little bit bigger so maybe we can get away with uh, you know taking some of that downforce well, actually, 
Maybe I'm doing it the wrong way. Maybe I'm doing that the opposite. I think more downforce would be faster. May I could be thinking about this the opposite way. I'm just gonna leave it there in the middle. I, I know the I know the wedge. I know that. So one and a half mile. <clears throat> yeah, again, I, I again I I don't I don't like uh I don't like um Darlington. To be fair though, that actually didn't feel as bad as Darlington feels in some of the other games. All right, let's see if we can muster here. This is uh, gonna be our first, like, I guess they call them quad ovals. Um, you know, so first track like this that we're gonna experience. So there's that. We're 189 for our top speed. Still don't want to turn, do you? Damn. the The car is the car feels like it's going slower than you know 189 miles an hour. You know, it definitely doesn't feel like that at all. So I'm thinking I'm not going into these corners as fast as I am. So that's something that I'm having to kind of fight with. Back it down there. And hammer coming off. And 34-7. 34-7 is what we're looking at. So, okay. Um, I will do this here, though. Take one more skosh a wedge out of there will qualify if that kind of hurts it I can bump it back up for the race so what I say 34 7 or something oh that'd be pole position they're running 35s shoot actually wouldn't have been half bad if I just leave that alone um, I'm definitely I'm definitely better on bigger tracks always have been in every racing game I've ever done um, I think as far as short tracks go Bristol's the only one that I've actually done fairly decent at um, not a fan of uh, you know a lot shorter tracks like I can't stand Richmond and don't even get me started on Martinsville Martinsville they could take a crane and wrecking ball to that damn thing and it wouldn't hurt my feelings none but these bigger tracks like this these mile and a half two miles that's, that's just, you know, I just do better with tracks like that. Oh, we're not down towards the bottom like I'd like. Ugh. Got in there a little hot. little bit of break which I was not expecting to have to use cut down here real low and that run, is a 35 one I think that's still pull oh no it's not oh one spot off we got beat by what's that basically three one thousandths of a second so we're we're right there with uh, what was that Bobby Labani that's gonna have the top, which actually to be fair before we started qualifying Dale Jarrett had the pole Bobby probably hadn't qualified yet either though. So okay, um I guess the wedge was fine I guess I'll leave that at that. Uh, right. All right here we go. We're right here at the front with Bobby again, so very similar to uh, to where we're at at Atlanta. Oh, actually, speaking of uh, uh, where oh Jeff Gordon's back there a little ways. I, I need him to uh, royally suck. That's what I need him to do. <laughs> the 
the green flag is out. Yes, it is, Bob. Oh, can we get underneath? Is he going to give us the bottom? He is. A new car is leading the pack. Oh, look at that. Take the lead in in uh, the first set of turns. Okay. And back it down. Back it down. Got to feather it there a little bit, but that will get through there. Oh, and we're actually putting some time on him, it looks like. I say that, and they're going to be right back on my bumper in no time. So far, it looks like so good. And back it down, back it down. Ah, you got to stay out of the throttle for so long. It just, it feels unnatural. <laughs> I don't want it to shift down to third either, though. That's something else I'm trying to avoid. It goes down to third, and it takes a second to get back up to speed again. That's when I start losing ground. Thirty-four eight. Oh yeah, we're kind of leaving the whole field behind. I like that. Oh, just hug the white line. I like that a lot. I really like that. <laughs> Start seeing that, uh, or if I continue to see that gap grow between first and second. I would like to see that keep growing. That'd make me feel good. Been able to run a hell of a good line around here. I know in um, some of the other games, especially the new ones, uh, you know, at NASCAR Heat 4 or 5, I'm not a fan of Texas. For some reason, there's something that I can't figure out about Texas. I don't do very well in Texas. Uh, hardly ever. I don't know. There may have been some... Actually, I say that, and I think Texas has been reconfigured several times. So uh, maybe it's just, you know, being that it's been reconfigured, and I, I, I just can't figure that out in the later games. Um, I think like the very first race they had at Texas, like it was like a parking lot. There were so many accidents and cautions and everything. Uh, like the the actual racing surface wasn't that great or something. There's a whole story about Texas Motor Speedway. Um, but um, doing a lot better here than I thought that I would. I kind of dread going to Texas in some of the other games. But I found a pretty decent line here and doing fairly decent. Oh man, the pack has split up big time, hasn't it? I hadn't looked at that mini map in a second. Oh, look at that car turn. Oh, look at it turn. love it when a race car acts the way it's supposed to, you know? Coming up on this lap traffic, hopefully they don't give me uh Whoa! Kyle, what the hell was that? 
I just come up to him. I, it was that intimidator factor. That's what that was. His engines was like, nope, I'm done. We're going to the pits, guy. <laughs> we're not. We're not gonna put up with that. <laughs> Yeah, I need y'all to get out of the way. Um, Jeremy, I'm talking to you, guy. I need you to move. Bobby ends up getting close to me again because you're in my way. We're going to have problems. Look at it turn. Oh, I like that so much. Yeah, I can't I can't get a car to turn like this around Texas in any of the newer games to save my life. I don't know why, but I can't do it. I need y'all to stay off the bottom. Or, well, okay, fine. If you go to the bottom, I'll just run up here. It's fine. It's cool. We got enough of a lead that we can just do that. Look at this. Actually, we'll just thread the needle through here. Oh, look at this car go. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's a thing of beauty. One more left oh, to yeah. go. Oh, yeah. Oh. How about destroying the competition? <laughs> they, uh, they didn't have a chance. <laughs> Smoked them. Intimidator was the dominator here in Texas. Excuse me, Ernie. I will uh, just get by you here and claim that checkered flag. Thank you very much. Oh, man, that car handled so good through there. Mm. Jeff still finished fourth. That still should be... Enough points to maybe retake the lead, though. Terry Labonte back in sixth. We were tied with him, so that'll help. Oh, yeah. Oh, by five points. Five points, but we reclaim the championship standings lead. Oh, now we got Bristol. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Mm. I like how it keeps all of these stats. Yeah, actually, we qualified 11th and got 5th at Darlington. I like that a lot. You know what? We're going to save this. Doing good. Uh-oh. I guess I don't really need all of that. I'll just save it as Bristol, I guess. Successfully saved. All right, cool. We're good. Okay. Oh, boy. Bristol in NASCAR 98. I mean, I like Bristol. Bristol's a fun track on some of the newer games. I, do, I don't know how it's going to be in, in NASCAR 98. This, this could be a disaster. Welcome to the Volunteer State and beautiful Bristol Motor Speedway. I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, and we're here for round four Excuse of the NASCAR me. Championship Racing Series. This short track features straightaways of 650 feet and corners that offer 36 degrees of banking. Ooh. Drivers must be careful. This track holds the NASCAR record with 23 cautions in one race. Ooh. Valuable championship points are at stake here. Drivers must finish the race at whatever the cost. Ooh. You say 23 cautions in one race? Holy hell. <laughs> Yikes. I think, actually, I think that would get... Um, I think that record would get surpa uh, surpassed at um, Charlotte, I think, in 2010 or 11, I think. Um, 
Yeah, this this could go either way. This could this could be terrible. This could be all types of bad. Ah, uh, oh boy. Mm, yeah, we'll just go with that. See what practice is looking like. We say thirty something degrees of banking. You know, some of the big tracks don't even have that. I don't think. Like that's that's crazy for a half mile oval. All right, here we go. Oh, it starts me way in the corner. Uh, I think we're going to stay in third gear most of the time, I think. Tell you what, you know, Bristol looks a lot different here, doesn't it? The grandstands don't go all the way around. It's not a full-on bowl. The uh, classic red and white walls. All right, so we got 16-3. Oh, hello, second gear. Nice for you to show up. So 16.3 is what we're being able to get the best. So, hey. Yeah. It's quite a bit different. That's, that's pretty wild to me. I say 16.3... Oh, jeez. Rusty's over here running a second faster. Holy hell. To be fair, though, um, they got that part right. Rusty Wallace always did pretty decent at Bristol. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. I don't know what happened there, but our qualifying effort's going to absolutely suck. Just full, full send. Yeah, full send right to the wall. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, this is not... Yeah, this is not good. This is not going to be good at all. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to look at it. I don't. Oh. Well, hell, where are we at? Oh, we last. Oh, not quite. Well, that got off to a rough start because I thought I had to change my camera angle. And then, I don't know, I must have hit it one time too many or something. That that really screwed things up. Um, oh boy. You know, I'm just... YOLO adjustment. Just me. A little sooner. Let me fill the lap draft to get some good... Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to take some of that. Maybe we can stick a little bit better. Hey, hey, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, Rusty with the 15-3. Oh, boy. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> the green flag is out. Oh, yeah, get passed right off the bat. Uh, hello. Yeah, there's just a dive bomb Kyle here. Oh, come on, turn. All right, well, see you, Kyle. Oh, they're really trading paint up there. Oh, I got, I about got impaled on that wall. Uh, well, hello. Can I help you? This ain't fair, man. I got Dale Earnhardt as the driver. He normally does pretty decent at Bristol. Wow, it's like I'm not even pushing down the throttle here. Oh, 
we hella slow. Second gear again. Uh-oh, somebody biffed it. In the pitch you go, bud. Oh, there's a spot at least. Alright, so we got Ward. Excuse me, Ward. Oh, geez, really screwed that line up. Oh. Oh. Ward, I need you to back off. Like. Maybe if I go a little bit higher, maybe the banking will give me some speed. Maintain some of the speed a little more. Uh, maybe not. That don't seem to be helping. I was not expecting it to turn off the corner right there. Ooh, somebody else in the wall. Was that Bill? Looked like Bill. Oof. Whoops. get into the corner right, I can accelerate off of it, and then I do okay, but I can't hit that corner right. Like right there. Ooh, that turned, that turned quite a bit. Up the track. Hey, what's up, fans? Up close, personal to the wall. Is that rusty? We're about to get lapped? Excuse me, what? Well, there goes Mark. I think he was running, running really well, too. Wow. I gotta admit, I wasn't expecting to get lapped at Bristol. So that's uh, that's a thing. One more lap to go. Oh, Mark just ate it. Okay, a couple more spots. YOLO spots. Oh! Uh, nope, still wound up 17 anyway. Oh, no, I got my lap back because Mark biffed it. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Oh! Oh, whatever, dude. Man, I just got jibbed. Did you see that? They just shot me down pit lane, man. Oh, that's lame. Oh, that was terrible. Oof. It sure as hell did. That was not good. 20th. Yikes. Oh yeah, now now we're oof. I need more uh, mile and a half. I need more big tracks and I need them now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Who was it that hit me? Do you remember? 
I, I was more focused on trying to get around the corner and somebody just smashed me. Salt Basin. Freaking road course. Yeah. Not what I needed in my life right now. <laughs> Let's overwrite that. Was it Terry? Okay. Okay, yeah. There we go. Salt Basin. It's only three laps. Oh, brother. Greetings, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, and welcome to Salt Basin International Raceway near beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah. Today's event, the Salt Flat 400, is round five of this year's NASCAR Championship Racing Series. As we look at the track layout, race fans will enjoy watching the drivers put their skills to the test on this quick road course that features long straightaways and gentle turns. That right there is interesting. I don't believe Salt Basin is an actual track. I think that's got to be one of those fantasy tracks, but the fact that they still had Bob Jenkins record a video thing for it, that's very interesting to me. Huh. Yep. It's pretty ironic. Well, since this is a road course, I guess we don't really need to worry about wedge so much. Dude, I would so do Tiburon. Which Tiburon, I think, what was it we discussed it uh, some time ago, was uh, NASCAR Thunder 2003 and 4. And is one of, like, I think the only fantasy track from any NASCAR game that I ever remember. All right. I'll do a... I gotta do a couple practice laps here because I have no idea what I'm in store for. Not a clue. I don't... I already don't even like the looks of this. Frickin' Andretti racing all over again. Oh, jeez. That's going to be all bad. Ooh, I like that little sweeping turn right there, though. Ooh. That doesn't feel horrible. Might need a little more downforce, potentially. Try to get the car to stick to the track better. Oh, that wasn't terrible. All right, get one more lap because this 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 corner up here is going to be a problem. I can get a little faster through there potentially. Yep, drifted around that corner. Need to need to tone that down a little bit more. A little hot and heavy through that corner. Oh, they even have a sound effect for going over the rumble strip. Do you hear that? <laughs> Hey, at least they included that little detail. Listen, listen. Oh, I didn't really... 
That <laughs> One oh nine two. One oh nine two. Okay. Let's go back here. Maybe a little more downforce. Maybe that'll help. And um, I I don't know if low end or high end would give me more acceleration. I feel like with more acceleration coming out of the corners maybe I'll have a better uh, you know have a little bit more speed because it seems like it's more about accelerating than it is top speed oh right there at the top it'll show me so I actually need to take that down in order to get more acceleration so let's try that at least for qualifying what did I say 109.2 is what I was looking at Oh my god, 101. They're running 101s. Holy crap. <laughs> Why even bother to qualify? We're going to be at the back. We're going to be at the very back. Might as well not even qualify. That's absolutely useless. Pointless. Big oof. Sure, just uh, swat it up right from the start. Now we have no speed going down the straightaway. Cool. Neat. Can't believe that one oh. Wow. The top speed would be nice right here, but... Ooh, that gripped the track real good, I feel like. Ooh. Oh, goodbye. Drifting action. Well, I'll throw this qualifying lap right in the garbage. Go on up there and catch up with the field. <laughs> Go on up there and catch up with the field. I'd kind of like to. I really would. <sighs> 101s. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Yeah, that's dead last. Not by much, though. A whole second off of trying to even get a top 20. Yikes. I feel like the car is as good as it's going to get, though, to be honest. I mean, it, it gripped the track pretty good. Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, that takes the Oh, that takes the handling down. Give us no handling, just all top speed and acceleration. You know what? We're already probably going to finish dead last. Get a couple of YOLO adjustments going there. To hell with it. See what happens. <laughs> I just catch the next one. Uh, I think that's definitely where we're at right now. We, we've got nothing for these guys. Nothing. You know, to dominate at Texas like it did. And then to go to this. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. Luckily, it's only three laps. We won't be here long. The green flag is out. Ooh, feel like grip the track? Yeah! Look at that! Look at that! Excuse the hell out of me! Oh! Wait, wait, 
we might have found something for this car. We might have found an extra gear here. Ooh, that got a little squirrely for a second. Excuse me. Pardon me. Sweeping corner here. Try to outbreak them. Nope, we're just going to slide. Cool. Use that draft. Oh, look at us go! Too much in the grass there, it kind of shaved off some of my speed. Oh, somebody's uh, somebody's toasty. Looks like Dale Jarrett. Oh, that damn corner overdid it, overdid it. Damn. That corner is going to be the one that would get me every time. One more lap to go. Oh, that sucks. I got nobody to draft here off of this. Might have been able to get another spot or two. Got some top speed going down through there, though. Oh, there's some contact. Well, excuse me, fellas. I'll take those spots. Thank you very much. Back up to 14th. That's not terrible. There's that that corner again that I keep forgetting about. Damn. I can't get through there very good. That's part of my problem. Well, uh, it wasn't the best run it wasn't pretty but to go from what was it 20th to 14th hey that's a win in my book uh, that's that's not terrible that could have been much worse uh not a bad recovery I don't think if I wouldn't have screwed up that one corner real bad like I did I might have been able to snag another spot or two maybe and even if I had a couple more laps, like if I just, you know, felt the track out a little bit more and just got more used to it, I might have been able to do something there. But, oh, yeah, now we're 101 points back. Eek. Give me a better track. <laughs> Freaking Sears point. <laughs> Damn. Hold on. Oh, this is going to give me, okay, we would have Sears point. Then we would have Charlotte. I don't know what Pine Ridge is. Then we got Michigan. Um, what? Hour and a half into this stream. I might have enough. Eh, maybe I'll have enough time to get to Michigan. If I can at least get to Michigan. We're not, again, not going to finish a whole championship season. That's not going to happen tonight. But, um. Sears Point. Charlotte. Pine Ridge. That might be another road course. Ugh. Sears point. Come on, man. Bob, what do you got to say on it? I know you got something to say about Sears point. Hello, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, coming to you from Northern California, home of Sears Point International Raceway. The wine country serves as a beautiful backdrop for round six of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. 
As we look at the track layout, pay particular attention to the turn six carousel and the two hairpins, turn seven and 11. Any speed lost in these corners will be almost impossible to recover. Fantastic. Oh, look at you. Oh. Can, we, can, we, can we just go back to the road course I was just at? Sonoma. Okay. They, I was wondering. So Sears Point, I'm like, I, it doesn't seem all that familiar. I do know it as Sonoma, though, to be fair. All right. What did I have in this the last time? Let me have uh, some tire pressure. That'll give me some better handling. Pit distance, I don't even need to worry about, I don't think. I'll just leave that as is. That will leave as is because it's not just going into the corner. You know what? Let's leave that there. And we'll we'll try it. Hell, what pff, what do we got to lose? More points? <laughs> All we can do is fur, fall further behind. Oh, yep, yeah, now this track is looking familiar. I always get this one confused with Watkins Glen. Oh, jeez. Oh, yep, yeah, kind of got there through there a little faster, I think. Um, okay, stop on a dime, sure. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here's the <clears throat> carousel right here. Got way out of shape trying to get into to that differently. The S is here. Breaks out into the straight shot into this hairpin. Eat the wall, sure. That's right, you gotta slow down to like five mile an hour through there. <laughs> Alright, one more practice lap, see what I can what I can really get, and then we'll see what we're looking at. Oh yeah, that's this lap's gonna be swell. Already got it screwed up. This corner is is going to be a race wrecker. That corner is going to destroy me. Get out of the grass. Yeah, I'll do one more lap to see what it, I can really get. Yeah, okay. Uh, park it in the hauler. That's what you need to do with a car. Definitely could have got through there faster. Again, slow it down to crawling speed. Well, that lap was still better, but a 126, I'm sure, is trash.
I'll take Watkins Glen over uh, Sears Point, please. Sears Point, Sonoma, call it whatever the hell you want. I call it Bush. Oh, yeah, just drifted around the corner. Can I just do that? Do I get style points or something for drifting it like that? able to shave that down to a 125.3. So, oh boy. It's going to be all bad. This is at 125.3. <laughs> Mark's running to 117. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, to be fair, to be fair to Mark Martin, kind of owns Sonoma. I think he's got several wins there. Oh. Wow! It's going to send me in into that corner like that? Give me control as it's like heading to the wall? Thanks. Talking negative review on Steam. And now that's got me all screwed up right from the start. Oh, man. Got that one pretty decent that time, though. Um, well, sort of. Get out of the grass. Well, again, throw this qualifying effort away. Starting at the back much? I'm, I'm trying too hard. That's part of my problem. Just trying to get every last little millisecond or something that I can. And it just, uh, trash. Trash. Come on up here, catch up with the wheel. Shut up. Get, you get behind the wheel. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> even with a terrible start, though. Still was able to get what I got in practice, so I guess that's a thing. Still last, though, isn't it? No. No, not last. Not last. Okay. I am I can be at least happy about that. At least Ricky Craven sucks much more than I do. <laughs> Look, like, he's over, what, over a second behind me? Well, at least we should not finish last either. So, what was it at the last one? I think I started last and wound up with, what was it, like a 14th or something? So, maybe we can still... Maybe we can still get a little something out of this. Three laps. See what we can get. Look at Richard Petty starting up there in the front. So, what do you think, Swab? You, uh... Want to jump into some old NASCAR? You know, 98, 99, something like that? Or you'd be like, nah. <laughs> I think I'll stick to the more modern ones. I'll have to read your response here in a second. The green flag is out. At least it didn't start me in the corner this time. Thanks, Kyle. Appreciate that. Give me some room. Give me some room, please.
Full send. YOLO. That corner right there is what's going to ruin anything that I can do. Oh, overcooked it for sure. Excuse me, gentlemen. Can I help you? I'm surprised we haven't got any caution laps. At this point, I think I have cautions turned on, so I'm a little surprised we haven't had not one yellow flag yet. Excuse me. I was there. <laughs> Are you still going to get it by me again, aren't you? What the hell, man? Jeremy, you need to move, bud. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hit it. I feel like if I were to do, like, a few more pra uh, practice laps, uh, you know, and actually had a few more laps to work with in a race, I would actually do a little better. Because even after just a couple laps, like I feel like I start getting the the tracks down that much better. One more lap to go. Oh, hello. Yep, get overcooked it there a little bit. Yep, doing a little too much here now. Just trying to get a little bit more out of it. And uh, just completely blowing it. Excuse me. I am here, sir. Oh, there we go. Yeah. See, getting that down now. shake that guy. Ooh, look at that. Are you kidding me? Ooh. Well, and it wasn't great, but could have been worse than 18th. As long as we do 100% length, <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? That, uh, I feel like that could be a, a, a fun video for us to do together for like the YouTube channels or something one night. It'd be a lengthy video for sure. <clears throat> but, uh, do 100% length on one race. That, that could be something. All right, so what are we, about 500 points off now? Yeah, 157, slip back to sixth. Mark Martin, though, leading the points. Love to see that. To be fair, though, Mark Martin was on fire in the 98 season, though. Like, he was... I think in the 98 season alone, he had like seven wins that season. Now... 
Jeff Gordon won the championship by winning 13 races that season. But Mark Martin didn't have a hell of a season that year, too. And we're off to Charlotte. Save that. What do you got to say, Bob? Good afternoon, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, reporting from Charlotte Motor Speedway, the mecca of motorsports, with round seven of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series and the Coca-Cola 600. Charlotte is longest the longest race, on the race in the series. Schedule. Driver endurance and car reliability are essential to running a competitive race. Yeah, the Coca-Cola 600, that's... um. That's one of the the big deals. You know, you had your uh your four like main races, you know, the Daytona 500, Southern 500, Coca-Cola 600, and um I think one of them at Talladega. Um, you know, it, it would have been one of them too. All right, so let's see here. Um we can mess with some wedge again. Don't need to really worry about pit distance, I don't think. Yeah, let's let's take down that downforce a bit. We still got good handling, speed and acceleration, pit distance doesn't matter. This is another one of those 1.5 mile speedways. Theoretically should do decent here. Get some much needed points. <clears throat> Look at that one ninety five, one ninety six. Cool oh boy. Ooh, ooh, the tires are not liking that. 196. Ooh, that's hauling ass. See, how fast can I take these corners? Again, tires are not liking that at all. That's a 42.6. Hundred and ninety around the corners. Whew. Oh yeah, we might need to do something about that. I feel like we're gonna burn the tires right off the car. Forty-one-five. Hmm. Yeah, we need a we need a little more grip. And then that pit distance is very short, so I'm guessing I'm gonna wear the tires out. And even a 16 lap race, probably, probably gonna ruin everything. So. Maybe, uh, maybe go with that, I think. Should be all right. Qualifying. What I say? 41.6? That would be pole. If I could hit that. Should, again, should do decent here. Theoretically.
Oh yeah, it's not liking that. We gotta back that down a, a bit. It's not liking that at all, trying to get into the corner that fast. Got the wheel cranked as far as you can and it just, it gets to a certain part of the corner and it's like, nah, we, we are all out of the grip. Four. On the pole, that was a look like a 41.5. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, this looks like if I don't uh, fwad the car up, looks like it could be another one that uh, I can do very pretty decent at. Again, I'm going to have to look in... Uh, in the settings, if I still can, unless it's too late since I've already in the season, to see if yellow flags are on, because I feel like we should have had at least one caution by now. All right, we can see if we can win another one. The green flag is out. I think I've won what, maybe two of them so far. All right, yeah, look, just already leaving them behind. I like that. I like that a lot. Less speed, 196. See you guys later, man. Kind of let it coast through the corners, like all the way around, basically. You start getting into the throttle, and it starts uh, starts burning them tires up. We start leaving tread marks and screeching them bad boys, just like that. Ooh, I don't like that. That wasn't the cleanest I've got through there, but I don't think it's going to matter, though. Yeah, I don't, uh, again, I don't really know what it is, but every couple years, I just have this, this itch of, you know, getting into some racing, and I don't know if it's because, you know, a bunch of other games that I do play, uh, you know, they're action-packed, or there's a lot of puzzles, I mean, I've been playing the Uncharted series a lot, and, um, you know, just getting into some racing, I don't know if it's just... It's just simpler. I mean, you can make it complicated, sure. You know, uh, depending on how much you want to get into the car setups and, uh, you know, how technical you want to get with it and everything. But, I don't know. It's just, to be able to just plug a game in and just, you know, go. <laughs> um, again, with a career mode, you really can get... Uh, really can get technical with some of it and it really get involved with something but that, I mean that but that's what I like to do every couple years I like to jump into something and do a full-on career mode and uh, you know I get into the car setups and uh, you know just really kind of dive into it and uh, I have a blast doing it and then after a little while I'm like okay that's about enough for that for a while and I'll touch another one again for quite some time. 
but then a couple years from then and it's like nope I want to get back into some racing and um, you know dive back into it again the last time I did you know a real deep dive into some kind of racing I uh, I did a career that spanned two different games yeah you know because you, know, you can create your character and stuff in the later you know the newer games the more modern games so I created me a character and I started on the SRX game and um, worked my way up through all the different dirt series, the 305 sprint cars, stadium trucks, late models, and then super late models, and then, you know, on to NASCAR Heat 5, which I then, you know, uh, also did late models there, but then also did the truck series and, and all that. So after doing, and 100% length too, like I, I didn't mess around. I did 100% length in every one of those races in all of those series, on both of those games, and uh, that, that, that was a lot of racing. <laughs> so, um, after some time, I definitely burnt myself out on it, and uh, that's been, you know, maybe a good two years ago or something, maybe. Um, but, you know, here I am with that itch again to, you know, I, I want to do some racing. Uh, hence why I'm doing this now, and I uh, got that series that I'm doing. Um, and it's just, it's just a blast to go back and get into some racing and just do something completely different compared to what I typically do in my games. I'm very story-driven in my games. Uh, the story is a big, big, maybe even the main factor in games that I play. And to, I guess, kind of not have to really worry about that. Um, there's kind of a story, you know, when you're doing the career mode. Uh, you know, you're kind of making your own story with, uh, you know, getting through and, and getting better at different tracks and getting better sponsorships. So there's there's kind of a story there that you're creating for yourself. Um, but it's it's a whole different thing, you know. The best lap of 41.4. Just running away with this one, too. Jeremy Mayfield in my way. Whoop, I'll go right down underneath you. Thank you very much. I say 16 laps. Hey, that's a little bit longer than what I feel like it should be, but this technically would be the Coca-Cola 600. It, it is a longer race. So having a couple extra laps, that makes sense. I can't imagine doing a race for 600 miles. Like, that just... Whoa! What the hell happened there? Kyle Petty once again just dipped the hell out. He's seen this black number three coming. He's like, I am out. I am so out. Uh, passing the grass. Uh, guys, what are you what are you doing? What are we doing here? Smashing into each other too for no reason. You guys are just doing too much, man. I uh, maybe just run on the outside of uh, what's this old hut Strickland? Nope, he's gonna go up, so we'll go underneath. Jeff Burton here. You gonna get go high and give me the spot? Thank you. See, that's a competitor right there. He's like, you know what? I'm slow. Just, just go. <laughs> I've seen another comment pop up, but I'll have to look at that here in a second. We got uh, Ted Musgrave here. Excuse me, sir. Goodbye. Woo! 
Yeah, tires are uh, getting a little worn here. There is a part of me that feels like I wish I could do like at least one pit stop per race just to kind of, you know, have that incorporated into it. Um, but that is something nicer about, you know, games after this where you could adjust the fuel and uh, the tire wear where you still, in a shorter race, would at least have to do like at least one pit stop. Not something that you can do in this one. Kind of running up the track there a little bit now. Got far enough of a lead where even if I'm burning the tires off, shouldn't really matter. Should be able to kind of coast to the finish at this point. Tires are wanting to come off the car now. They're like, look, we tag out, get some different tires on this beast. <laughs> what was this Beal? Oh no, that's Michael Waltrip. I think he's two laps down now. One more lap to go. I think that's the second time we've lapped Michael. let it coast off the corner. No need to get into the throttle and spin out. We're on 197. Uh-oh. Somebody's toast. Uh, the Caterpillar car. What did they say it was? Uh, David Green, I think, in that car? Oh, yeah. The tires are tires are screaming at me. But that's all right. Checkered flag. It's what three wins on the season? Score. Oh, it's Terry was twelve seconds behind. Of course, Jeff didn't eat shit like he should have. Lapped all the way up till twelfth place, though. Just kind of destroyed him. Nice racer. Usually one, two, three hours. Southern Michigan to the upper peninsula. And less than half the time it normally takes to do this. Yeah, dude. Um I think I think you're right. I think most of them are two to three hours, uh, depending. Like I think some of the road courses are closer to two. Um, some of the bigger races, uh, you know, the big 500 milers, I think you get close to three hours. The 600, I think, actually does run closer to four hours. I think. Oh uh, yeah, we're still 142 back. That's because Jeff and Terry won't won't. Uh, Swatted up in the wall or something. I don't think we'd actually really be able to come back from this deficit. I could be wrong, but unless I could get better at the 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 you know um, road courses, I don't know. I don't think I'd have a chance in winning the championship in this game. Pine Ridge. Here's another road course. Fan freaking tastic. Um, view standings, view season info. No, I can't. Uh, yeah, I can't uh, adjust any of the settings, but I thought for sure I had the yellow flags on. Um, okay, we got Pine Ridge, and then we got Michigan. So I think, what, a little over two hours in, I think maybe I'll have time for Pine Ridge, and I would like to end it on Michigan. So what's Bob got to say about Pine Ridge? Another fake track. Good afternoon, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, coming to you from Ashland, Oregon, and Pine Ridge Raceway. Oregon? We're here today for the inaugural running of the Stormfront 400, the which inaugural. is round eight yeah. of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. This is a road course featuring change in elevation and tight blind turns. Neat. Only drivers with a good sense for this track will finish well on this daunting road course. Fantastic. 
Look at these like 90 degree turns they got going on. Who's designing this shit? Yeah, Oregon, I don't think I don't think NASCAR does a single race in Oregon, maybe ever. <laughs> All right, you know what? Give me some grip. Definitely going to need that. We only got three laps. Yeah, you know what? Piss, pit distance be damned. Alright, we're gonna try that, see what happens. It's a, ooh, over two mile long road course. Oh, what the hell? Some, a decent straightaway for the front stretch there. Them 90 degrees, though, those, those are scaring me. Need some speed right here, that's for sure. Ooh, yep. Slow it down. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, what the hell? Hey. Wow. All right. Cool. <laughs> I kind of wonder why they didn't have like all of the regular tracks you know in a game like this I don't know if it's uh you know, like if it was like a licensing issue with the track itself or what? Because again, I'm actually very, very surprised Daytona's not in this. I wonder what Talladega would be like in this. Oh, hell. Hold on. Yep. Should have seen that coming. Need to pay attention to my map better. Oh, this track is going to be a nightmare. Cut through there. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. You know what? Yeah, that, you know what? Okay, you know. We're just gonna. I mean, I, I can qualify. I don't know what the point would be. But. Get me a little bit more grit, maybe. Uh... Yeah, let's just let's just do it and get this one over with, and that'll at least get me a chance to to do Michigan 104. What was I doing at 112? Yeah, why why even qualify? That's that's. Qualifying here is absolutely pointless. Oy. You know, for a NASCAR game, it's a hell of a lot of road courses, man. Yep. 
Yep, sure. Off the track again, cool. Thought I was gonna go right into the pit lane, so I had to check up there. Come on up here, catch up with the field. Shut up. I was doing like 112s in practice, that was a 108. Already shaved off several seconds. And, uh, you still want to talk smack. Uh, 15th. 15th, that's, yeah, if it would have been the 112, it would have been way in the back. But, okay, 15th, it's not last. It's actually you know, close to halfway up the field. I can't really complain with that, actually. <laughs> well, 104 flat for Terry Labonte. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go. The green flag is out. Yes, it is. Why am I starting so far behind this guy? Ooh, got through there nice and smooth. Was that guy hey guys how you doing can I help you use him up a little bit hey eight tires are better than four I got a spot. <laughs> it's better than losing them, I guess, though. Got these guys right on my heels. And I'm watching the mirror and not the track. Crap. Excuse me. I'm there. <laughs> Wow, they just fly through there. I gotta slow down big time in order to get through there. Take the shortcut. One more lap to go. Wow. I feel like the AI is a little overpowered at this track. I mean, I'm putting together like some of the best laps that I have and I'm losing spots. Let's just fly through that corner.
somebody just lost the wheel and everything. Uh, well, I think this is the first race that I end up losing positions compared to where I qualified. Terry Labonte and Jeff Gordon finishing one, two. Um, so I guess, I guess that was about due to happen sometime. Um, you know, to, yeah, 192 back now, tied with Dale Jarrett in sixth. And go to Michigan. That makes sense. That definitely makes sense. Yeah, Daytona USA was definitely a thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, then then that explains it then. Um Yeah, so we had 2nd and 1st, 11th and 5th, 2nd, 1st, 20th and 20th, 24th, 14th, 22, 18, 1 and 1, 15, 16. So yeah, that's the first race that I actually lost spots compared to where I qualified. So that's, I guess that was bound to happen sometime. Uh, eight starts, ten top or uh, four top tens, three wins. It's not overall a bad season. Let's see if we can go over here to Michigan and get one more win before we call it a night here. Greetings and welcome to Michigan Speedway. I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, bringing you today's round of the NASCAR Championship Racing Series. The wide racing surface and 18 degree banking allows for the exciting style of racing. The three and four abreast racing action on the straightaways are legendary and where champions are made. Hell yeah. Two miles in Michigan. So this, this is a race that, uh, I feel like I have to win. Gotta gotta end this on a good note, you know what I mean? So, uh, again, that pit distance be damned. Don't care about that. Give me some handling. The top speed. Yeah, let's try that. See what we're looking at. <clears throat> it's a big track. Can I just haul off and do open? Uh, I can't. No, that's definitely not a thing. Definitely can't just haul it off wide open. That's that's not happening. Ooh, this is gonna be a little bit trickier. have to take just a little bit more wedge out of it, I think. Get it to uh, turn around these corners a little better. Forty one flat. Okay. Yeah, let me go in and uh, take a little bit more of that wedge out. 
that up a little bit more. We'll just go right to the qualify. Oh, yeah, we've beaten Ted, Ted Musgrave up there with a pole. Get out of here. But he was at a 41.9, basically a 42. So we should be able to snag pole here, too. Bag 197 for a speed. Once you get right to the center in between one and two, it wants to just shoot up towards the wall. If the, that that corner or the corners there do get sharper, so you do got to back it off a skosh in order to get through there for sure. Ooh, I don't think that's gonna be pole speed. I had to really back it down or not hit the wall. Good job, good job. We got the pole. Oh, got the pole anyway. I think I cracked 40? Yeah, okay. So almost a second. Of a, Ted Musgrave up there up top? What? Get the hell out of here. Ted Musgrave ain't, it wasn't winning no poll. Let, let's be fair. <laughs> um, I think the car is going to be as good as I can get it. And if I'm running almost a second above sec, uh, second place, I think I think we should be able to win this one. Go out on a high note. There's pole. That's what I'm talking about. Be four wins on the season, even if I wouldn't be anywhere close to the championship uh, at the very end, which I wouldn't be. All them damn road courses. Still, four wins ain't too bad. That's uh nothing to shake a stick at. The green flag is out. Uh, Ted? Excuse me? You need to back off, bud. Yeah, we just need to let it coast through the corner more. It just coasts right through there nice and smooth. Just don't overdrive it. That's really all I got to do here. Like I almost did right there. Oh, not third gear. That's not what I want. Oh, that's that's not good. No, now now we got to spend some time getting back up to speed. Ooh, we backed it down too much. Ooh, ooh. Definitely want to stay in that fourth gear, for sure. Feels like it wants to go back down to third gear. Ooh, I feel like I'm right on the edge of that. Got through there a lot better. Oh, 
yeah, 40.6. That's much better. Still shaving time off. Ooh. Ooh, that was almost not good. tires. Don't be doing that to me now. <clears throat> well, I knew I wasn't going to get through a whole season, but, uh, I'm actually at a point at the moment where I'd kind of like to know where I'd place in the overall standings for a season. <laughs> I might have to uh, finish this season up off stream sometime. Just uh, one more lap to go. What I need, just want to you know sit down and just play something for a couple hours. You know, knock out the rest of the season, see what happens, but. Almost hit the wall there. Wanted to go up the track. Uh, wearing these tires out. It's about time to retire this set of tires. This last lap, that should be victory. Just catching the lap cars too. Alright. That that that's a good that's a good way to end it. Another win. I'll take it. Whoa, wait a second. Jeff Gordon down in 13th? What? But, of course, there's Terry Labonte up there in 4th. So, you know, he, he's got it all wrapped up for Hendrick up there anyway. <laughs> um. Okay. 6th place. 187 points out. And next one would have been California. I think would have had a shot to win in it there, too. So, let's see here. What else would we have had? We would have had California Willow Lane. I'm guessing it would be another stupid road course. Then Pocono, which I'm not a fan of. Watkins Glen, another road course. Uh, Cedar Woods, going to guess that that's a road course. Talladega. Ranch Tower and Suzuka. Suzuka's a road course. Ranch. Yeah, I just feel like there was, you know, there was no way you're going to end up winning the championship in this game. It's not going to happen. Not with that many road courses. I feel like they only do like two, you know, or three in the season, you know. I feel like half of them are road courses. But we got nine races in tonight. Um, nine races and four wins, you know. So won almost half of them. I can't really complain with that. So just save that right there just because. Well, this has been fun. Um, you know, wanted to jump into some racing and, uh, you know, jump into an old school, uh, you know, racing game. NASCAR 98 is a perfect one to fit that bill. Um and this was this was a lot of fun. Um, was, I've, I've borrowed this copy some time back and was looking for just the right opportune time to break it out and do a stream on it, and uh, to kind of coincide with uh, you know a new racing series that 
that I'm putting together, uh, you know, seemed like a perfect time and the perfect opportunity to do it. So, uh, you know, this, this was good. Um, was happy to even win one race. I didn't think that I was, would do, uh, even that well. Um, since it's been so long since I've played the game and, you know, in each and every single racing game, you know, NASCARs, or if you even do like the Forzas and the Gran Turismos and all that, um, even games that are in the exact same series from game to game, they handle a little differently. You know, the cars feel different and everything. Uh, I think NASCARs, it's uh, a lot more evident and a lot more obvious because you would go to the same tracks right in each game compared to you know some of the other games where maybe not the, the a lot of the same tracks are are uh, present um, but in NASCAR it's you know a lot of the same tracks every year and uh, so but still even from like say if I were to like go in and did NASCAR 98 and then if I, like tomorrow I were to do NASCAR 99 I bet half of these tracks and everything would have a completely different feel trying to get the cars around those tracks so um you know to be able to win a couple races I'm happy about that <laughs> yeah I had a good car yeah <laughs> yeah yes I did oh I give you a little thing here that's part of the racing series uh, when a race say like, oh hell yeah got me not a checkered flag if you would have came up to me before the race and say you know what you might be able to win this race I think today's your day you got a good car would have said you were wrong cause I had a great car I had the best car and gotta thank the sponsors you know GM Good Ranch and Good year. All the other ones got to thank Richard Childress. Uh, you know, I had a got to thank Chevrolet. Had a good car. Yeah, you know, got the checkered flag. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, again, I had fun. Uh, check out the uh, announcement video uh, coming out on the YouTube channel 8 p.m. Um, and that will announce what game I'm going to do a series on. The day that the videos will start being released, the times, um, and some of the other finer details. So, um, yeah, check that out. And uh, hopefully, if you enjoyed this, uh, then uh, maybe you'll check out a couple of the other videos over on the YouTube channel. I did uh, a couple other exhibition races on a couple other games, trying to figure out which one that I would have uh, the most fun playing a career mode in so I did um, some exhibition races on like um, NASCAR Chase for the Cup 2005 I did one NASCAR Heat 5 things like that just trying to feel out a couple different games so there's some exhibition races up on the YouTube channel already and then um, yeah be sure to check out the full series or the brand new series when it starts coming out I would appreciate that a lot and um, I'll see you back next Tuesday for um, another stream where I'll pick back up on the full length playthrough of the game that I was playing before I decided to you know take a quick detour or take a quick left you know to doing some racing so uh, Suave Beardson uh, thanks for hanging out with me all night. Um, again, anybody that's made it this far, uh, again, check out Suave Beardson on Twitch and on YouTube. Streams every Wednesday night and uh, does some Sundays. I think he's going to be skipping over this Sunday because he's got some stuff going on. But, yeah, every Wednesday he's doing Red Dead Wednesdays and does some other things on Sundays usually. Um, and then uh, has a lot of other content over on his YouTube as well to check out. A lot of good stuff. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just going to end up rambling. So that's going to be it for me uh, for tonight. Um, until next Tuesday. Uh, hold on. Speed run stream at some point since I'm this weekend. But nothing guaranteed. Um, well, I... Uh, Still, um, anybody that's interested, you know, can go over and 
Uh, if you're on Facebook, you can check out his Facebook page as well as updating stuff there all the time. And, of course, the schedule on Twitch itself. You know, uh, you know, keep an eye out on those things, too. So, um, yeah, that's um, absolutely. We're looking forward to seeing you there. Uh, hopefully, you're enjoying that as well. Yes, Uncharted Golden Abyss on a modded PS Vita is what I'm going to be getting back to. Uh, next Tuesday night, 11.30 p.m. start time. So uh, tune back in for that. And uh, I will see you then. Uh, until then, whether it's another stream or whether it's, uh, you know, in the new series, then, um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see you then. So I am D. I'm the Grim Gamer. And until next time, I will see you guys later.